YouTube allows us to play 8K HDR video, and I want to test this out on the new M1 MacBooks. Hello everyone, my name is Mike, and here at Tech Car Moon, we uncover tech at home and in video. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. But today I'm going to show you on both the M1 MacBook Air and Pro what kind of YouTube videos that you can play back. I've done a few performance tests already, and I will be doing even more. So hit that like button if you want to see those videos, and I've got a whole load of content content planned for these new M1 Macs. But without wasting any more of your time, let's find out how Apple has done. So right now we have got the MacBook Air, so this is the base model, so 8GB of RAM, the M1 8-core CPU and 7-core GPU, and we've got YouTube playing in Google Chrome, which has been optimised for the M1 chip, and we've got an 8K video, so just to show you, we are playing at the highest resolution, and we're going to just see how it is, so we've got the stats over here so we can have a look, and let's just play and see if there's any problems and it looks pretty smooth to me. This is 8K video on the MacBook Air, which the old uh, MacBook Air couldn't even handle this footage. So this is phenomenal. I'm just flicking through, having a look. So no issues, let's full screen that. Let's see how that plays with full screen. So it's had two drop frames. That's probably when I was switching. So we'll keep that open. We'll just see how that's playing. No issues whatsoever. Let's go back, let that load. So I've got okay internet, so it should be fine playing or streaming this kind of footage. And we're seeing no drop frames. Let's see what happens when I go back. So obviously when I go back, we're seeing a couple, but that's obviously due to the transitions. As you can see, plays perfectly no issues whatsoever with 8K. And I've got the activity monitor as well. And yes, it does push, as you can see, the CPU near its max, but not too bad. Let's have a look at memory as well. So we are, we're actually not too bad with it either. So right now we have got 8K HDR video and yeah, it is struggling a little bit. So yeah, it's, I, I've tried letting it load and yeah, 8K HDR might be pushing this just a little bit too far. But I mean, that's pretty acceptable in my opinion. I, I don't think a lot of us are gonna be watching 8K HDR videos on our MacBook Air, but it was just to kind of show its limitation as well. Let's also have a look at CPU and GPU. So, uh, sorry, CPU and the RAM. So the RAM is fine. Let's have a look at CPU. Yeah, so we are maxing it out, as you can see. System has gone up, and yeah, we're, we're really trying to push this to the max, but yeah, it, it just cannot handle it. So now let's try 4K HDR video and see how that plays back. Okay, so this is 4K HDR video, and as you can see, we are dropping frames just over here, so yeah, it just keeps increasing. So it is struggling with 4K HDR video being streamed. Now this is at 60p as well. So let's drop it down to 1440p. Let's see if we get any drop frames while doing it. Yeah, so again, 1440p. We are struggling just a little bit. We got three drop frames, four drop frames. Again, not too bad. I don't think you'll notice those four drop frames. And once it's got into the groove, it's dropped a frame just again, and it's playing pretty smooth. So 1440p HDR video, which is very tough, let's be honest. And yeah, we're not seeing any issues. Let's open it up. So let's see if it drops any frames while it's in full screen mode. So it drops a frame here and there but nothing that would concern me. So let's open this up and let's go back to 4K HDR in full screen mode. So three drop frames, seven drop frames, 28, yeah. So 4K 60 HDR video, 
it's gonna struggle. It's dropping frames if you just have a look at this corner here. So 4K HDR video, it's it's gonna be tough for it. Let's have a look at the CPU. Yeah, it's it's a limitation really on that CPU, potentially GPU as well. Be interesting to see how this compares to the MacBook Pro with the extra core uh, of GPU and see if it can handle it. And let's just for final good measure, 1080p, 60p, HDR, no drop frames that I can see. Here we've got the MacBook Pro base model and this has got the M1 eight core CPU, eight core GPU with eight gigabytes of RAM. And let's play. So this is 8K running on Chrome. We're seeing no drop frames. Now this is optimized for the M1 chip and we're seeing no drop frames in 8K at all. So that's really nice to see. And I've been doing this test for a little bit just to kind of warm up the CPU, make sure, you know, there's any thermal throttling that we're gonna see it. And right now we're not seeing any thermal throttling whatsoever. So let's give this video a like. Let's have a look at the CPU activity. So it's creeping up just a little bit. So probably about 60, 70% CPU usage, maybe a little bit more but no drop frames in 8K, as you can see, no drop frames. So let's open this up, let's maximize it, let's try and use all of the resolution that we have on this screen. And again, the three drop frames, just to let you know, is normally when it's transitioning between full screen mode and its default mode. So that's pretty normal, but if we see any more, obviously we then we'll know that it's dropping frames, but in 8K, no problems whatsoever. Let's minimize that. Okay, so right over here, we have got 8K HDR, 60 frames per second. So let's see if we can play this. And yeah, it's it can't play 8K HDR at 60 frames per second. So this is, this is a li little bit tough, little bit tough for this kind of footage. Let's have a look at the activity monitor. Whoa. Okay, that is a very big peak. Yeah, we're we're maxing out this CPU when trying to play back something like this. Let's drop this down to 4K, 60 frames per second, and let's play that. So it's dropping a couple of frames. It's playing back smoothly. No drop in frames whatsoever at the moment. Dropped a frame. Oh. Dropped five, six frames. So we're seeing a drop of about five to six frames per second here and there. And let's put that in full screen mode. Let's see if we can push it. So it's dropping about 10, 10 to 20 frames at times from what I can see at its most, but no problems really. So yeah, you might, you might see a few drop frames, yes. But remember, this is 4K HDR at 60 frames per second. So <laughs> on, a, on a MacBook Pro, yeah, and this is the base model MacBook Pro. I am so impressed with that. The, the Intels would, would not be able to play this. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really impressed. I'm really impressed. Let's have a look at the CPU usage. So yeah, we are maxing this out pretty much. We are literally maxing this footage out for sure. But if we have a look at the memory usage, nothing really. Five, I mean, five out of the eight, not too bad. I, I wouldn't be worried with that. So that is 4K, 60 frames per second HDR. Let's drop it down to 1440p. Let's have a look and see. So we've seen a drop frame, two drop frames. It's much smoother. Let's mess about with that, see if it drops a frame when we switch. No, so it took a little bit to warm up, but once it's got through, so we'll see a few drop frames when we transition, but that's pretty normal. And that is playing 1440, pretty much at the full 60 frames per second. So this is 1440p HDR video. Let's do the final one, 1080p, 60 frames. We're obviously gonna know that this is gonna be very, very smooth. Yeah, no problems. Let's move it back to 4K because this is where its limit was. Let's maximize that, let's have a look. So we see a few drop frames. So normally in the beginning it sort of drops, but 
as it sort of goes on, we only see a maximum of sort of two, three frames per second dropped. And this is six, uh, this is a 4K 60 frames per second. So here and there we see two drop frames, but yeah, fifth, I would say 55 to 60 frames per second it's playing at, yeah, consistently, which isn't bad, which isn't bad at all. And it's not noticeable when it drops those frames, when you're watching it like this, you're not noticing that. That's really, really interesting. Really interesting. So right here, I've got the MacBook Pro 10th generation i5 processor. This is the four port model as well. And as you can see, it just keeps dropping frames. So yeah, every sort of couple of seconds, it has to buffer, reload. The internet speed is exactly the same, but as you can see, it is absolutely struggling. And I don't know if you can hear in the background, I'll move the mic in a second, but the fans are going like crazy. The M1 MacBook was completely silent and the Intel MacBook Pro is struggling. The fans are kicking up. It sounds so loud as well playing this 8K footage and it is constantly dropping frames. Whereas on the M1 MacBook, no drop frames at all. So conclusion time. The MacBook Pro with its eight core GPU does help playing back YouTube videos like this. And it's really interesting to see a real world difference, even if it's just YouTube videos. I will leave links down in the description below if you wanna try these videos out on your computer. I am very impressed with the MacBook Air though, as even though it does stay cool, similar to the MacBook Pro, the Air doesn't have a fan and actually beat out the Intel 4-port MacBook Pro, which has two fans in it. But there we have it. As always, this is a discussion. So please leave a comment down below on what you thought and check out the links in the description to support the channel. If you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TechCarMoon. Drop me a like on this video if you've enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more. But if you wanna see more from me right now, then you know what to do. Click on one of these two videos. You know how I've made them, obviously myself. Anyway, everyone, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.